Good day. It's Monday, September 14th, 2020. Um, not too bad a day out, a little more warm, a little more humid, but it's looking good for the rest of the week. Uh, I think we're done with the rains for a time. We've gotten very good rains lately, and so I'm hoping and praying that we get continue the good weather for the harvest. I want to touch on a few announcements before we go ahead today. Um, we have several people we want to keep in our prayers. We want to pray for Terry and Darcy Dickerson on the death of their daughter, Samantha. Uh, very tragic and unexpected death. Do keep them in your prayers. We also want to be praying for Gary Brooks as he goes in for testing for uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, he just recently found out that he may have that, and so he's having more tests done this Friday to determine just exactly what is the extent and possibility of that disease. So do keep Gary and Joe in your prayers. Naomi Kling from St. Paul's took a fall a while back and broke her hip. Uh, she has had surgery and is in hospital in Guttenberg. So please do keep Naomi in your prayers as well. The fish fry at First Lutheran will be on Sunday the 11th of October. It will be carry out only and it will be free will donation. So we will have our fish fry this year. It will be a very limited menu and free will only. So do keep that in mind. I'm hoping to work out the kinks for this coming Sunday's FM broadcast on Sunday, September 20th. Uh, it is a communion Sunday. And of course, the goal is that we would be able to provide communion to those folk who, for health's sake, need to remain in the parking lot. They can listen to the service on their cars and then I will bring the sacrament out to them. Please let me know in advance if you plan to come on Sunday and desire to receive the sacrament. I think those are the announcements I'm going to touch on today. I just want to talk briefly about today. Today, September 14th, is Holy Cross Day or the Exaltation of the Cross. The cross is a central symbol in the Christian faith. It was on the cross that Jesus suffered and died taking with him the power of sin and death. It was the cross that gives us the hope of salvation through the dying and rising of Jesus. And so we exalt the cross this day. And if we think about it, it's a bit strange that we use an instrument of execution as an instrument of salvation and of healing. And yet Jesus dying on the cross has transformed that instrument of suffering and torture into a witness of hope and faith. And so we as believers throughout the world exalt the Holy Cross. It is important to keep that cross before us at all times, to remind ourselves of what Jesus was willing to do for us and for our salvation that has come from his dying and rising. So whether you wear a cross or you have crosses on your wall or you make the sign of the cross, let all of them be a loving reminder to us of what our Lord was willing to do for us, that he was willing to suffer and die for us and on the third day be raised. And so on today, September 14th, let us exalt the Holy Cross and give thanks to God for our salvation. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we give you thanks that your Son was willing to endure the cross for us and that by his suffering and death and his rising from the grave, has brought life and salvation to us all through the forgiveness of sins. Help us to treasure the gift of the cross, of what it means to us through the dying and rising of Jesus, and help it to be a continued witness to the love and mercy that you have for us. We ask and pray all these things in your name. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow, and until then, goodbye now.